Ted Mann and Thomas Greita covered the shocking downward spiral of General Electric while working at the Wall Street Journal. The reporters expand on their findings in a new book. That book, Lights Out, Pride, Delusion, and the Fall of General Electric, explores the history behind the decline of GE, analyzing what went wrong for that corporation. So authors of Lights Out and reporters Ted Mann and Thomas Greita join us now to discuss GE's downfall. It's great to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, Thomas, let's start with you. I read the book. I mean, I was absolutely fascinated by it. And to me, it was really a broader story of American business. You have this great company which creates these huge industrial engines, builds things of real value. And sometime around the 1980s, starts engaging in these crazy accounting practices, becomes financialized, and then post, you know, the 2008 cra crash just begins to melt down slowly. I mean, what was it like to kind of reveal that story? And how does it connect to a broader thing in the American economy um well i think you're exactly i, I think you're right when you say it's, it is sort of looked at as this uh company that represents american corporations and their culture management culture um and the economy itself uh what was it like to cover it it was a roller coaster ride ted covered the company uh before i did for four years um and i came into the beat and things really started uh Unraveling, Jeff Remelt stepped down, so Ted and I were closely together. Um, but it was one of those uh, for once in a lifetime, you know, uh, beat, corporate beat stories. Yeah. Yeah, and Ted, just take us through a little bit of the timeline and what happened as you saw it and as your reporting revealed. Well, um, in, in terms of uh, when I was covering them as a, a daily beat, no, reporter, in terms of what happened with the company. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you, you basically the story the, in the book is the story of the CEO for 16 years, Jeff Immelt, who took over at the turn of the century from a guy, Jack Welch, who was a world famous CEO, who was acclaimed and was had presided over just a gigantic run up in the stock price. And Immelt had to decide what needed to change about this company he had inherited, um, and he had to decide you know, what stamp of his own to put on this company and what risks that Welch had taken he needed to unwind. So a lot of what he was doing was trying to invest where he felt Welch had underinvested in the industrial businesses um, and also keeping the earnings that Wall Street was so happy about running. And from the very beginning, that was a really tough battle for ML, both to sustain these incredibly high expectations people had under Welch um, while also guiding the company into a into a sort of a safer position for the years to come. Mm -hmm. um, but in a series of bets, uh, both plowing even further into GE Capital, growing into its greatest size um, right before the, the financial crisis, and then later in his last attempt to transfer in the company, buying a failing industrial rival in Alstom, um, trying to sell out of capital and doing tremendous amount of share buyback, they really just kind of drove the company off the edge. Yeah, and, and Thomas, I'm so fascinated by really reading your guys' book is because Jack Welch, you know, you think of him, you're like, oh, he's the, the American CEO, the 1980s, on the Today Show all the time and all that. And then you kind of learn, um, A, that he loved being on the Today Show and it's part of why they bought NBC <laughs> in order to pump up his brand, but also that much of the stuff that he was doing for GE kind of ultimately led to his downfall. What was it like uh, to, to report that? And, and were you fascinated by that when you were writing the book as much as I was? Yeah, I think um, I think that's right. Uh, it is. It was fascinating to see it. Um, Jack sort of, you know, kept doubling down on financial services. It was working, and, and at the time, um, I think you know Wall Street had that flaws. Um, you know, Jeff certainly had plenty of time to sort of unwind that. And as as Ted said, he he doubled down as well. And the financial crisis really just. Um, really sort of crushed them. I don't think they really recovered from that. But, you know, Jack I, Jack has still seen, um, you know, it's sort of uh, in his time, he certainly transformed GE. He certainly ran the operate. He, he ran a tight ship, right? All those sort of right. typical Jack Rush things uh, that people still point to. I mean, I wouldn't say his reputation is, uh, is uh, completely down hmm. because of what happened after. Yeah. And Ted, what are the broader lessons and implications from what happened within this one incredibly storied American corporation for the broader economy? 
Um, there are many. Uh, one of the issues that continued to crop up in our reporting was what was a sort of cultural inability to deal with some bad news. Um, and that sometimes was as simple as a deal like Alstom, where you had people throughout the organization who had doubts or, or some who just frankly thought it was a terrible thing to go through with. Um, and yet it was a priority of the leaders, it was a priority of Steve Bowles, who ran the power business, and of Jeff Immelt, who wanted a big industrial deal for his strategy. And ultimately what you get is a bunch of very, very smart people seeing all the same red flags that should tell them to just fold the hand and back away from the table, not being able to do so. And the, the result was something deeply ruinous to thousands of their employees and to shareholders and to, and to the company itself. And, and it, it did ultimately seem to us that the, the leadership culture within the company, which was the thing they were proudest about, ultimately let them down on a very basic ability to, to look at bad news and decide you, you couldn't have the thing you wanted and you needed to try something else. Yeah, really interesting. Well, I, I, I couldn't recommend the book enough. I learned a lot from it. Thanks to you guys for joining and telling us about it. Telling us about it. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. much. I will have more rising for you after this.